I'm the type of person, whenever you tell me no, it's, it's not a no to me because I don't like that word. It's more of a, okay, let me find the loophole. <laughs> family it's your boy the fairy god braxton and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to the family and if you're returning welcome back to the family function all right guys so today we're going to actually do a story time i put a poll up on my instagram i'll post that here and this is what you guys wanted to see so we're going to get into it today's story time is about how i lied to my mom skipped school and went to a theme park that's correct. Yes, that's what I did. I'm gonna give a little backstory. When I was younger, I wasn't a bad kid at all. I really didn't care much for my grades as much as I should have. So that it led me to get into a lot of trouble. I was just focused on other things. Boys. Ha! Gay! And for that, my grades would suffer. And this was back when I was in eighth grade. So I don't even know what boys I was focused on. Well, actually I do, it was only one, but whatever. In eighth grade, uh, I just wasn't really caring for school. Well, eighth grade, honestly, all the way up to the 12th grade, I didn't really start to care about school until I got to college. Since I didn't really care about my grades, my mom, she wasn't having it. My mom wasn't a strict parent, but grades were something that was important to her. What she used to do in order for me to get good grades or what she thought would work is if she put me on punishment or grounded but black people we call it punishment um, i used to get put on punishment a lot and again i wasn't a bad kid but i just had bad grades my mom just wasn't going to tolerate it this particular time i was on punishment i had bad grades i'm not sure what my grades were they were bad all right so the story takes place the morning right before school so i don't know if all schools do this but my middle school did a eighth grade graduation and an eighth grade trip kind of like a senior graduation and a senior trip our trip was to king's dominion it's a theme park and it also has a water park as well like half and half if you're from Richmond, Virginia, you know what Kings Dominion is. Like, that is the place to go in the summer when you were a kid. Maybe even now. But I was super excited to go. But of course I couldn't because I was on punishment. Now, I knew this, but I still said, okay, maybe if I put on the sad face and I ask my mom, can I go? She will say yes. Right? No. No. <laughs> The morning of, I had my permission slip. I waited to actually give my mom permission slip the morning of on purpose because I thought that if I gave it to her the morning of, she would have no choice but to say yes because everybody else was going. It was the last minute, so she had to do it. So I gave my mom the permission slip the morning of, and I was like, Mom, um, everybody's going on a school trip, and I really want to go. If I don't go, I'll be the only eighth grader that's not going. All you do is sign a permission slip and just give me $60. It was $60 because we had to pay for like the bus, the transportation, the food and all that. I was like, yeah, mom, can you please sign a permission slip so I go on a trip? And she was like, no, you're not going. You are a punishment. Excuse me? I'm not going on the trip. After that, I was pissed off. I was like so upset. I'm the type of person, whenever you tell me no, it's, it's not a no to me because I don't like that word. It's more of a, okay, let me find the loophole. After she told me that, I said, okay. Well, in my head, I knew I was going on that field trip. But what I did was I went into my room. I'm not sure why she was taking me to school that day, but she did. I think I was late or something. Not sure what happened. But so I went to my room and I said, okay, I'm going to search. I don't know how. I'm going to be prepared. The day was I put on my regular clothes, but I packed some swimming trunks. Because again, Kings and me and the theme park also had a water park. I packed my swimming trunks in my book bag, not knowing how I was going to go on this trip with no money and no sign permission slip, okay? in the car nervous i don't know why i'm nervous i think because i know like i'm going this trip and i'm not going to tell her but i'm just like nervous i get to school and we go to our first periods we ended up checking in talking to all my friends we talking about the trip and i'm like yeah you know i can't wait knowing the back of my head like technically i'm not going but i'm not going to tell them i'm not going because 
again, the whole school is going on this trip. <laughs> After first period, uh, they was like, all fifth graders would go to the cafeteria. So everybody get their bags and stuff. We go to the cafeteria because the faculty and staff or the teachers, they wanted to make sure all the kids had their permission slips. If you packed the lunch, make sure you had your lunch. Make sure you everybody had like the proper clothes, like swimming trunk, bathing suit, stuff like that. I forgot what my teacher name was. I'm just going to say Miss Ryan. I think that's what it was. If you went to school with me, please confirm if that was her name. So Miss Ryan and her teacher's aide, they were like super cool. Miss Ryan was like one of my favorite teachers. And it's funny, I forgot her name. But I think her name was Miss Ryan. But she was like the class favorite. She was the best. And her teacher's aide was super cool too. She in the cafeteria is sitting down and I'm super nervous. So they're calling everybody up. Everybody getting in line and they're just checking everybody, make sure they got everything they need. And I made sure that I was the last in line okay because in the, and the reason why because I'm like I need a plan so I'm gonna get it back on the line so I can <laughs> I can formulate this elaborate scheme so I can go on this trip wait before I finish the rest of this story you already know what I'm asking you did you like this video if you didn't go ahead and like this video and if you like this content go ahead and subscribe okay so I'm in the line I'm just waiting Everybody's getting checked off. So then they call me and they like, Adrian Braxton. So I come up to the front and I'm like, hi. And like, um, you got your mission slip and everything, you ready? In that moment it clicked and I said, I'm gonna lie and say, oh my God, I feel so bad. <laughs> I said, I am going to lie and say that my mom couldn't afford to pay for the trip. And she, that's why she didn't sign her permission slip. We just didn't have the money in my family. I felt so bad. I said, My mom didn't have the money, so I can't go. It was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have the money. My mom, my mom couldn't afford to pay for the trip. So that's why she, that's why she didn't sign the permission slip. They were like, go ahead and sit down. I will mean, figure this out. Okay, cool. Oh, I am nervous as I don't know what. I'm thinking that they're gonna probably call my mom, ask her can she pay half, or ask her what's going on at home, get social services involved. I don't know. I just was nervous as hell because they were gone for a while. Two hours later. Oh, they came back maybe like five minutes later. It seemed like two hours to me. And they was like, okay. We're gonna go ahead and just pay for your trip for you. And you, you sure your mom said you can go? Like, yeah, she said I can go. She just had the money. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. They're like, don't worry about it. We got it covered. You're going on a trip. Cool. So I was in there like swim where, honey? Literally, because I had the swimming trunks. <laughs> I had the swimming trunks in my book bag. I was prepared. Um, we ended up going on a trip. And I had a blast. We ended up getting on all the roller coasters. I ended up going to the water park and everything. Like, and mind you, now I had a change of clothes because I wore my regular clothes. See, now the other thing I had to figure out was how was I going to tell my mom I was coming home late from school? I didn't figure that part out yet. And at this point, I don't know. At this point, I did have a cell phone, but I wasn't going to tell my mom anything until she asked me where I was. And back then, I didn't necessarily know my mom's schedule at work, but I knew she did have to work that day. What I didn't know was that she was at work this entire time I was on this field trip. So by the time I got home, she was still at work. I go to the theme park, I'm having the time of my life. Back to the school, we all get in our buses, and we go home. My mom ended up coming home that night, and we talked just like normal, and I did not tell her that I snuck and went to that theme park after she told me no. And still to this day, well, at this current moment, she does not know I went on this field trip. So, mom, have a belated Mother's Day. I love you. I am so sorry I went on that trip. I'm, honestly, mom, I'm not sorry because that was one of the best times I had in my life. And I just understand why you told me I couldn't go. It was my eighth grade trip. Mom, eighth grade trip. So, that's kind of happened. That's the time I snuck to a theme park and I skipped class. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please tune in for my next one. I'll be posting videos every Sunday and Wednesday.